college art majors add another list this month criticizing their career choice. The arts took a hard hit in the Georgetown University Center on Education in the Workforce study with the study proving a 6.7% unemployment rate. However, college students and professors are defying such lists using new technology that has been really on the rise the last five years. 3D printing, which has been around since the 1970s, has transitioned from industrial practices to consumer markets. Darlene Ferris Labar, Associate Professor of Art and Design at East Strasburg University of Pennsylvania, is a testament to how this technology is rising. 3D printing has allowed her the opportunity to showcase her art around the world. I think that, you know, I've seen too many artists with great talent and wonderful creativity to give to the world uh, that never take it um, a little beyond. And so I think 3D printing will open the doors for many creative people. The most popular at the moment is the additive manufacturing process where you take a material such as plastic and you put it up through the machine, come out through a hot nozzle that heats the plastic up to a point that the plastic becomes liquid and then it comes out onto a platform and then builds up layer by layer to create a wall um, into a form. Ferris Labar used her talent along with the printing labs at East Stroudsburg University of Pennsylvania to produce her work and it paid dividends. I had submitted my work uh, to 3D print show to be hopefully represented in, in one of their exhibitions. I heard back from them and I am excited to say that it will be then traveling on their tour. Uh, it will be going to uh, places like Dubai, uh, London, Madrid, Paris, uh, California, and of course New York City. With her work, Ferris Labar credits 3D printing for allowing her to not only express herself, but also help others by preserving plants and flowers that may not exist in the future. 3D printing has given me this chance to do something I've always wanted to do. I have always had a fascination and respect for the vulnerable, beautiful little species that you know are, are throughout our protected land and open space. Now people can have a documentation of uh, plants and flowers that may one day not be around. So it kind of preserves something that is very beautiful to me. Despite the uphill climb in terms of employment rates in studies regarding the College of Arts, Ferris Labar continues to push her students. I tell my students to not give up. Um, I think that failure is going to come, you know, in their careers. I think endurance is success when it comes to being a, a great artist and having a great career.